Bates will be here any minute. How do I look? Is that all you think about? How you look? That ain't important. What's important is how I look. <laughs> Sue Epi, do you think we did the right thing? Can Mate Matic really match us up with the perfect mate and give us eternal happiness? If it don't, we out eight bucks. <laughs> what you want your day to look like? Oh, man's looks ain't never been important to me. As long as Billy D. Williams walks through that door, I don't care what he looks like. <laughs> oh, man, to be a combination of Isaac Hayes, Muhammad Ali, and Jim Brown. <laughs> Sounds great. A six-legged black man that weighs 800 pounds. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, us uh, here, we're, we're supposed to meet two made matic dates. Are you the two girls who live here? <laughs> yeah, I'm Sandy Duncan, and this is Karen Valentine. <laughs> We're a little surprised. We was expecting to meet two ideal mates of a darker hue. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, a lot darker than you. <laughs> you suppose there's been some kind of mistake? Now, this man is quick. I mean, a building don't have to fall on this cat. Well, <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Strangers in the night. Dooby dooby. Uh, I love your Aretha Franklin. <laughs> she has some wonderful things to say about you, too. <laughs> I can't understand it. The computer's supposed to put together people who have something in common. Well, we all got one thing in common. We all out of eight books. <laughs> well, hey, we're we're not not uh... Hey, let me ask you something. I mean, do you girls like to dance like people love animals and like to go to parties? Do I? Yeah! Right on the yeah. Yeah. I can't understand it. They guarantee the computer won't make a mistake if you fill out the application correctly. Lou Effie, you sent in that made matic ad from the magazine. Did you say anything on there about color? Well, let me see. <laughs> I said we was in the pink, and we was looking for two men with a lot of green. <laughs> well, how do you know white people read evidence? <laughs> That's what the magazines carry that ad. I read the ad in Reader's Digest. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know black people read Reader's Digest. <laughs> Well, thanks to you, girl, we're going to spend another Saturday night at home watching the walls crawl. Hey, look, the computer goofed. Why don't we take you out for a nice dinner? Well, ain't that nice, Maureen? At last, a meal I ain't ashamed to show my stomach. Uh, where are we dining, gentlemen? Where we always take our dates. Jack in the box. <laughs>